The next three articles of faith for the Church of the Nazarene are sin, original and personal, atonement, and prevenient grace. Well, let's talk about sin first. We, the Church of the Nazarene, do believe in sin. We believe that it comes in two forms, original sin and personal sin. Original sin is what we are born with. It's a result of our first parents, Adam and Eve, in the garden, uh, falling from grace, choosing to rebel against the will and the command of God. Because they rebelled against God in the garden and chose to eat of the fruit that had been forbidden them, they were removed from the garden, separated from fellowship with God, and that is death, spiritual death, to be separated from God. And the Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Then we believe in personal sin. Personal sin is a voluntary violation of a known law. It is us knowing what we should do and not doing it, or knowing what we should not do and going ahead and doing it. And we're personally accountable for that. Depravity or original sin we're not accountable for until we come of age, we understand what we're doing and we reject God's offer of salvation through Jesus Christ, which leads us naturally into atonement. We believe that Jesus Christ, fully man, fully God, born and lived and died here on earth to reveal God's love to us. While we were still sinners, Christ, God demonstrates his love for us and sends his son to die in our place. And through the, the life, the suffering, and the death of Jesus Christ, the penalty for sin, which is death and separation from God, is taken care of. Then we get to prevenient grace. Prevenient grace is the grace that comes before. It is God's pursuing us. As I said earlier, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God loves us and his, his face is turned towards us, but because of original sin and because of our propensity to sin, we can't turn to him. And so God in his grace, provenient grace, reaches out to us through the power of his Holy Spirit. He, he draws us to himself. That's provenient grace. It is God's grace that comes first and enables us to say yes to him.